up you're okay we're looking at jesus and the eyewitnesses uh gospels as eyewitness testimony richard ball from 2006 published by erdman we're on page seven he writes uh concerning vincent taylor Borkham says he went on to point out that the eyewitness participants in the events of the gospel narratives did not go into permanent retreat for at least a generation they moved among the young Palestinian communities and through the preaching of fellowship the, re the reconstructions were at the disposal of those who sought information so what Borkham is saying quoting Vincent Taylor a scholar is that actually these key important people like Peter and James and people like that they didn't just disappear off the scene uh, straight away they were preaching and they were passing on the beliefs to other people and if this is the case there will be a strong historical core about Jesus that is reliable within that participation he quotes Martin Hengel I personally think of the Jesus tradition with particular um, I can't read that word um, I personally think of the Jesus tradition uh, or more precisely the memory and missionary preaching uh, as historically undeniable that's Martin Hengel he quotes what, what he's saying is that you can't get away from the fact that if you say that Jesus didn't rise from the dead Jesus didn't exist whatever you can't get away from the fact that it's undeniable that the early tradition of Jesus that they actually believed that he did rise from the dead that they, be they believed in the, the historical uh, the miracles and all the rest of Jesus mission they believed that and that's what they were preaching that can't be denied so someone said well they, uh, they, they saw a, a, an imaginary Jesus they saw imaginary miracles the point is that they didn't say that they said they saw Jesus do miracles they said they saw Jesus rise from the dead that's the fact that we have to deal with and that's what Borkham is saying if we get to the eyewitness material once we start to take that seriously then we've got to deal with that fact those facts The word trident, that's the word, yeah. Martin Gengel, I personally think of the Jesus tradition with particular trident, or more precisely their, me their memory and missionary preaching is historically undeniable. The word trident uh, means the person who delivers or handles, hands over uh, any property to another. So they're the people who are handing over, in this particular case, the story of Jesus. Um, now, we'll leave it at that and we'll get on to another video.